In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Dell XPS 15 9560 for video editing. I know a lot of people have been having issues with this laptop or have been claiming they've been having problems, but with these steps, it has seemed to reduce some of the issues I've had and hopefully it'll do the same for you. So go to your hidden icons panel to the bottom right of your screen, click on the Max Audio Pro button and open that up. Click the speaker icon and right below the speaker icon, there's a switch, flick that switch to on. It'll turn blue, and then you'll have uh, much better sounding speakers. If it's not in the bottom right icons panel, just type in Max under your search bar and it'll pop up through there. So the next option is to set up your primary video card for your editing software. Go to the hidden icons panel again, right click on NVIDIA settings, and open the NVIDIA control panel. And once that opens, make sure manage 3D settings on the left is highlighted and selected. Then on the Program Settings tab, open that. And under the first drop down, select your editing software. I'm using Adobe Premiere. And on the second drop down, it would probably be selected on Integrated Graphics or Auto Select, but make sure you're on High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Do this for all your programs that are graphic intensive so that you don't have to worry about it using the uh, Intel processor. I've noticed if you don't do this, it might resort to using the Intel processor and it's gonna lag so bad. If you're trying to do any editing, it's gonna skip. It's just gonna be terrible. So the next option is to set up your power plan. So go to the search bar and type in edit power plan and open that in your control panel. Then click on change advanced power settings. And I'm just gonna run down the list here so that you guys can follow along. So under Internet Explorer, JavaScript, timer frequency, make sure on battery it's maximum power savings. Plugged in, doesn't really matter what you put it on. Under desktop background settings, slideshow, on battery it should be paused. Under Intel R graphics settings, on battery and plugged in it should both be on maximum performance. If you're not using PCI Express, just make sure they're off. I don't know if this really makes a difference, but uh, I turned mine off anyway. Then next, go to your processor power management and go to your minimum processor state and make sure on battery it's at 100 and plugged in it's at 100. System cooling, both should be on active and on maximum processor state, they should both be on 100. Under display, um, enable adaptive brightness, make sure it's turned off. And multimedia settings, um, when playing video, make sure both are optimized video quality. And then on battery, go to your low battery level and put them both on 40%. Now this is important because you never really want to drain a battery beyond 40%. The more that you do that, the less time you'll actually get out of a battery before it dies. So if you plug it in as soon as it hits 40%, uh, that's going to keep the health of your battery for longer. Now make sure you have your low battery notification turned on or it won't warn you when you're at 40%. And then your low battery action, make sure they're both on do nothing because if not, uh, it will shut your computer off or it'll put it to sleep as soon as it hits 40% and you don't want to be in the middle of a project and have it just shut down on you. When you're done, click apply, click OK, and you're all set. So those three steps, they should really help you out and they should help your machine run a little bit smoother with video editing. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.